All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's me, it's me, it's Nordgar TV. I will be your host tonight, commentating the race for the Premier Race Network. As these cars go around and qualify, you're going to see multiple cars as they qualify for this race for the chase. Number two at New Hampshire Speedway. We are going to be going tonight 150 laps. 150 miles in New Hampshire. New Hampshire located in Loudoun, New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a one mile track oval. There is absolutely no banking. Zero banking whatsoever at all. New Hampshire seats 105,000 spectators. Uh, the first cup race, NASCAR cup race ever run here at New Hampshire was run in 1990. The, uh, the design is like a paperclip. It's a bigger version of uh, Martinsville or Darlington. So we're going to see a lot of tight racing in the corners uh, tonight. It's really, really hard. Uh, these cars inherently, we are racing the Cup Series here tonight on iRacing. These cars inherently uh, obviously want to turn left, but uh, tonight the camber on the cars, which is if you don't know what camber is, camber is uh, the tilt of the wheel, the front wheel and the back wheel. Uh, more camber is tilt toward the turn, less camber is tilt is toward the inside of the car. We're going to see less camber tonight uh, compared to last weekend at uh, Chicagoland when these guys ran. Uh, being that there is no banking, you don't need as much camber. And uh, the turns are very, very wide. Uh, we're definitely going to see some three wide racing in the turns uh, here tonight at New Hampshire. So I hope everybody's got a drink and going to sit back and have a good time tonight with us here at Norgar TV as we're uh, almost finished with qualifying. We'll go through the qualifying order as they finish. And the drivers are finishing up their qualifying as we take a look around the lovely New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Like I said, located in Loudoun, New Hampshire. If you're just joining us, thank you very much for joining the broadcast tonight. If you haven't done already, do it right now. Slap that follow button in the face there in the upper left-hand corner of your uh, screen there so you don't miss out on future broadcasts. Uh, for the uh, Premier Race Network. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about what Premier Race, uh, Race Network is about, head over to PremierRaceNetwork.com. Uh, they are currently looking for new members to start their 2013 season. Next season after the chase is over, we are uh, chase race number two. And as we go through the starting order, we got Zach Chinowith, Last week's winner at Chicagoland starting up on the pole. Patrick McHorter will be in second position. Uh, Steve Preston Jr. will be in third. Justin, Justin Anderson will be in fourth. James Barber will be in fifth. Ned Adams will be in sixth. Seventh position will be Kelvin Mosser. Eighth position will be George Hi, everybody. Ninth position, Welcome Andrew Lutz. Tenth Network. position, Mark uh, Masula. Open league All race. Right, for, forgive me New if rules I need to go over. pronounce your race. Cautions are on. There are pronounce no toes. Names incorrectly. Wreck it, fix it. I'll get to know We're you guys sooner or later as we listen to the uh, admin. We go on green on the start and the race starts. Jump start will be black flagged. Uh, if you spin it twice, get it off the track. Uh, if you come out a third time and spin it, you will be disqualified. Tonight we are broadcasting this again uh, live. I uh, gave you the link there. 
Um, and uh, tomorrow you can go on uh, his YouTube website and uh, watch the replay. We've got 150 laps to go. It's a flat track. Let's just take it easy and give and take, everybody. And I mean it. Give and take. If we pit under green, make sure you merge on the back stretch only so you don't get in a race line. Just good luck, everybody. There you have all the instructions for the league admin, Ned Adams. Make sure I'm pit As so he lays you down the bomb, to please follow the rules. Front of you cannot drive to two or three cars because that's a black Looking flag. for some good racing here tonight. Thanks for dropping by uh, PremierRaceNetwork.com uh, and enjoy. Look up there at the ticker. Find your favorite driver. Place your bets. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. What are we going to do? Zach Chinowith, your uh, winner from last week, looking to make it two in a row tonight. He's going to have a uh, tough go at it. We Still have a back full back. field have tonight. Laps of green. We got a full field nice. of uh, 43 cars are going to hit the start. Besides, guys, there's a bunch of really, really good drivers in here. We can do it. Oh, you kidding? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're going to have 13 cars. <laughs> that will be your field for the night is 13 vehicles. My apologies. Uh, I was looking at the uh, practice uh, the practice times. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have uh, 13 cars. So that is your starting order. More than 13. Okay. All right, as the pace car leads We're them going down, on so green. Back. green flag. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go bumper humping at New Hampshire Speedway. Green, green, green. Zach leads them down into turn one with the seven car right behind him. Turn three wide in turn two. Sixty nine trying to inch his way on the outside of the ninety nine, but the thirty two will go by him on the inside. Ninety nine being driven by George Gallen, running for Monster Energy this week. As they start to sort themselves out, we're going to see some more single file racing as uh, the back half still hasn't figured out where they want to run yet. Oh, the 32 gets a little loose going into turn four. So far, so good. Everybody's held their lines. No bumping, no pushing, no shoving yet. But, oh, the 32 going to make it three wide coming out of two. He gets through there, no problem, no damage, no no touching, no nothing going on. Everybody's still running clean. Let's head back up front to the action. Let's go back up to the leader. As Zach leads him around. Everybody single file now. Long race here tonight at New Hampshire Speedway. 150 miles, 150 laps. This is New England's Super Speedway. As I said earlier, no banking here whatsoever at all. We're going to see way less camber in the cars this week. And uh, coming through the turns is, is going to be a lot more difficult when you're not leaning into the turn. And that's what makes this track so difficult, so challenging, and so exciting to watch racing races at. Let's head back up front. Oh, there we go. The 32 on the inside of the four, looking for position right there. 32 in the four. The 32 being driven by Brandon Lynn. Lynn this week, and he will take the position from the four car. 
the four car being driven by Andrew Lutz. Andrew Lutz will lose seventh position. Let's go on board. Let's go on board with uh, the fifth place car of Justin Anderson and take a lap around New Hampshire Speedway. So you get a look at the track from the driver view. Here we go. Crank it up, ladies and gentlemen. I will be quiet for the next approximately two laps. Crank it up, listen to that engine as they come down into turn three. Everybody crank it down as Justin Anderson goes on the inside. And he's going to try to overtake fourth position there. And he does of the 84. The 84 being driven by Patrick McHooter. McHorter, sorry. McHorter. As we go back up with the leader, there is your leader right now. Let's go on board with his gearbox and see the distance between first and second position would looks to be about oh I don't know 12 car lengths the number three has just passed the 69 for position let's flip over views 69 holding on the outside as the 03 down on the inside Is he going to be able to stick it down into turn one? Ugh. Gets a little tight, gets down there on the line and tightens up. Normally these cars uh, start off pretty loose and tighten up as the runs go on. So uh, as we see them spread out here, we're going to see slower uh, speeds. Currently right now, uh, let's see here, let's go up with the leader. Focus in on the leader, please, I racing. Let's go back up to Zach and see what kind of time Zach is running around this one-mile oval. There he is, Zach in the 51 National Guard Chevrolet. He just ran a 29.903. Thirty-two just went by the sixty-six. The sixty-six caution, caution. caution flag is out. Caution flag is out. Not single file down low. On Taylor, the front stretch. Low up when you get to the uh, caution. Looks looks like Robert Underwood has uh, brought out the caution. Let's quickly pause this and uh, see exactly what happened to Robert here. Let's go to TV view three. Now nah, let's go to TV view one. There he is driving the 69 Monster Everybody Chevrolet. Everybody down low, please. Single file. Coming Over out of, high. into turn three, into turn four. Pace car is going to be out of turn two. Coming down the front straight. He just gets loose, ladies Thank and gentlemen. You, Not exactly sure there. What did I just say Middle about these cars there. being loose on the start? But that's right, what happened. Nobody right collects here. him up. No damage done. So uh, he's probably going to come in that's and get some the tires. Head, eh? They're probably flat spotted. So let's head down to Pit Road and watch all the action down there on Pit Road. As Zach brings him out, that is a tough break there for uh, for Robert. Not going to be too much damage done. Just slows the uh, pace down. and uh, Oh, Ned Adams stays out. 66 stays out of Ned Adams. He's going to stay out and make another run around this track. Don't know if he'll come back in or this is uh, some kind of fuel strategy he might be employing here. But I will tell you from uh, previous uh, experience on my own part, this tire does eat up tracks. 
Uh, three quarters of this track is concrete. Uh, the other one quarter of it is asphalt, and it is a difficult transition on the tires. Uh, Goodyear definitely uh, has a hard time making a compound. As they come all off, it's a big race off of pit road, and Zach will win the race off of pit road. But Ned Adams is going to be your leader unless he comes around. There we go as we cycle through the drivers right now. There's Connor, and there's Patrick, and there's Andrew. There's Michael Adams and George Gollin, and that is your top 10 as they come off. But let's go on board with the 66 right now, and uh, the 66 has decided to come down. Don't know if, uh, this, again, this may be a pit strategy. He wanted to get up there and lead a lap, or, you know, who knows what's going on right now in the crew chief's head. Uh, not exactly sure, but this is the strategy employed by the 66. He's going to start at the back of the field on the restart this time around. He may have missed pit road. I don't know. Uh, we didn't catch that. But, uh, again, Ned Adams last week at Chicagoland, he actually finished third. He's looking to put the kibosh on Zach this week. Doesn't want Zach to have two in a row. So he's, uh, he's going to have some work to do to get back to the front. But he is off pit road. There is your pace car run by the Ford GT Mustang. Ford GT Mustang this week being driven by Fat Tubalard John Madden. John Madden Thanks, is out of work and had nothing to do uh, this week, so they put him in the pace car. I don't know exactly if he has his teleprompter inside the car this week. I'm assuming that he does, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the choice to drive the pace car this Thank week. You. Yeah, old Fatty's in there, and yeah, we got to wave around there, right there, that green car as he goes by. Lights on the pace car are off. We're going to be going green next time by Zach Chinowith is still in first There's position. He's led left, every yeah. lap of this race. We are on lap number 17. We'll be hitting 18 as uh, we cross the stripe. And the green flag drops again on this race. Thank you all for joining Norgard TV tonight. I hope you enjoy the cast. And uh, Have a nice if you haven't, uh, please hit that follow so button so you don't do miss any more of these races coming up. Not have a I will be racing this bit. week at Dover Speedway run, in Dover, Delaware. Lots of racing coming up in the next few weeks at Norgard flag. TV. Here on the we green go. Light. Time to go back. Bumper humping now. Here we go. Pace cars down. Green, flag. green, green, green. Here we go. Oh, the mellow yellow, the 43, down on the inside of the 32. Oh, and we have a car off. The number 10 is off in the grass on the back stretch. Caution does not come out. We are still green, ladies and gentlemen. As the tide ride of the 17, he has fallen back. He may have scraped the wall, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not exactly sure, but I think he uh, actually scraped the wall. He may have some right side damage to his car, but uh, Ned is trying to get by him. Car number 10 being driven by Connor Ojeda. Ojeda down after he has spun off the track, he is down receiving service. As you see the rest of the cars go by, he will go a lap down there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back up to the action. We got some movement here on the inside of that white car. The number four being driven by Andrew Lutz. Andrew Lutz trying to hold his position as the rest, the front five, break away from him. We got a move on the outside so hard to pass on the outside here ladies and gentlemen it looks like there's a lot of room out there and technically there is a lot of room but you lose so much momentum if you go wide in these turns <clears throat> Robert Underwood fighting for position Robert Underwood we haven't spoken uh, spoken a little bit about him tonight there the 69 
looking ahead of him. Let's go on board with him. He's looking ahead at three different cars right now. Let's take a view from his in-car cam provided this week by Budweiser, the king of beers. The king of beers that fuels yours truly. Nordgar through some of these broadcasters and races as he goes on the outside. Oh, he goes wide. Is he going to be able to stick it? No, the 03 is going to hold his position. That is your view from Robert Underwood, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Underwood looking ahead at these three cars in front of him, trying to figure out how he's going to get by some of these guys as everybody's running a different line. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Just flip, flop, crisscross, you name it, they're doing it. Oh, and the car in front of him gets into the wall a little bit, but he maintains his position as he comes down the back stretch. And Underwood is trying to get by the four on the outside. This is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Just can't do it, can't make it stick. You cannot get a good run when you go wide. Oh, no! Oh, he almost plowed the four, but he stays out of the back of him. Robert Underwood hanging on for everything he's got right now, trying to pick up positions. Let's go back up to the most exciting. Hey, let's, let's give a call up to the Goodyear Blimp. The Goodyear Blimp right now, all these shots being provided by... Uh, Eddie Curry, Eddie Curry, uh, Norgar TV I Racing League member. He is up there. He is drinking. He is eating. He is smoking. Driving the blimp around the track here at New Hampshire. I hope he doesn't hit a bird because this is quite exciting, and I hope he stays on all the action up there above the uh, track right now. We got a race going on the inside of the 69, the 99 trying to get to the 69. The four has retained his position and will continue. Looks like everybody's starting to settle in after that restart. Let's go back to TV2. This, the seven car has over... Oh, no, but the seven car gets... Oh, he gets loose. He had taken second position for a while, and he is going to hit the inside tire barrier. That should bring out the caution. Nope. He takes his two. He he takes his he takes his toe, and that's going to pull him off the track. That toe takes about a minute and a half to get off there, but he gets off the track as we go back up with 66, who started in the back of the field as he's slowly he's slowly creeping up. He's trying to get on the inside of Robert there of uh, Underwood there in the 69 monster car. Looking, looking, trying to get the inside line. 69 running a good line in the middle lane there. The 66 staying down low. Just cannot quite get the bite off the turn he needs to get by the 69. 69 running a very good line right now of Underwood. Let's go on the rear chase of the, oh, the 66 on the inside. Finally, he's got a quarter panel. No, he can't do it. Let's go to the rear chase of the 99 and look back at the 66 of uh, Ned Adams there. Nope, sorry, I'm incorrect. James Farber has pulled off. That was a guy that, uh, the number seven car that uh, spun around there and he has pulled off, taking his car to the garage. I don't know if they'll be able to get that back out there or not. Uh, he hit that tire wall pretty hard, but this is your race right now for eighth position as Ned a Adams in the 66 down on the inside, still looking, looking, looking. Meanwhile, Zach Chinoweth is still leading your race, ladies and gentlemen. Sixty-six and the ninety-nine. Sixty-nine. The sixty-six and the sixty-nine. They are trying to wreck each other. 66 gets loose. The NVIDIA car behind him pulls up. And now he's in the mix. We got this race going on right now for uh, position number 8 on lap number 30. Ned Adams looking all over the track trying to get around this monster car. The monster car doing a good job running his line and keeping the rest of the vehicles back there as the 66 is going to dive down again.
You can see the NVIDIA car in the Tide ride there behind the 66 and the 69. Well, let's head over to another camera view. Ladies and gentlemen, as they come down into turn three, 66 looking in the outside. Meanwhile, the 99 has pulled up to the bumper of the 66. George Gollin, George Gollin driving for NVIDIA this week. He's just sizing both of these opponents up right now. George currently running in 10th position. A lot of give and take here as Zach Chinowith, there we are, there is your leader. As he pulls away, let's see where second position is. Let's go on board with second position. Uh, Brandon Lynn, Brandon Lynn, let's see how far the uh, interval is. There is your interval, that little nationwide, or I'm sorry, National Guard dot in front of him. That is the distance between first and second position. Gets a little loose coming out of turn four. You're going to see a lot of that with a lot of these cars as the uh, runs get longer and longer. Speed slow down and tires get worn. He gets loose coming out of turn two also. Let's take a look. Oh, somebody scraped the wall. I don't think it was him. As we go down into turn three and four. As you can see, he's running... Oh, let's go back. We got some action going on. We got some racing back here for uh, fifth position. The 84 is trying to overtake the 77. This is for fifth. Or, I'm sorry, this is for fourth. Fourth position, ladies and gentlemen, fourth. As the cars are now all starting to string out, we're going to see a nice, big, a long green flag run unless somebody spins. Uh, some of these cars hoping for a caution right now to come back down and uh, get surfs to the Chevrolet machines. Uh, everybody praying for tires. They come back down. They scream for four, and they actually want six because uh, the tires are just being chewed up here on this flat one-mile uh, one oval flat track here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Let's head over to, let's go to the Chopper view. We haven't checked in with Chopper 6 yet tonight. Let's check in with Chopper 6. Chopper 6 being driven by Jordan Malish. Jordan Malish currently, uh, you can check out his channel here on Twitch TV. Uh, he is one of uh, the Norgar TV iRacing League members and uh, casts a lot of iRacing and a lot of other games as well. He's very entertaining, so take a, take a look at him. And if you need directions to get to his place, let me know. I'll give them to you. And there we go. There's the 66. The 66 of Ned Adams has crawled back from the back of the pack. He is now up to 8th position as he slowly makes his way forward. Working on that number 4 car. That number 4 car being driven by Andrew Lutz. And here we go. We got battle for position here between the 84 and the 77. This is for fourth and fifth position. This is for fourth position right here. The 77 currently fourth, but the 84's got a nose out in front of him. Oh, that was too close to call, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know who took that lap. That was real close, but the 77's going to drop back a little bit. The 84 is going to accelerate through the turn and take fourth position from the 77. Oh my gosh, what a good, good race we had going on there for position. But the 84 will take and maintain. He's going to be scored fourth as we go around this time. Back up, back up to Ned Adams, who is still in eighth position. We have George Gollin, who is, I'm sorry, uh, no, Ned Adams has to overtake in 8th position. He has now scored in 7th as they come across the stripe. The 99 of George Gallon trying to get his position back. Looking at the back bumper of the 66. Looking at that Swiss chalet little thing there on the on his bumper. Waving at him saying, hey, hey, I just passed you. Come, hit, come read this advertisement or get out of the way. Uh, 
the 32 of Brandon Lynn has just actually just disconnected and that's going to put him back into the trailer back out onto the truck the truck driver is ready to go unless he can get back into this race and uh, put some uh, more laps out on the track that'll probably be it for him tonight unless he can get back in there unfortunately here at iRacing we have a you know there's always issues of people getting disconnected or lagging or blinking out or it happens that's video game racing ladies and gentlemen so as we take a look at Michael N. Adams haven't spoken of uh, Michael Adams yet tonight driving the 03 driving the 03 he's also driving for Swiss Chalet He's got uh, I Love Racing there on the uh, back bumper of his car, and uh, he's also driving for Harvey's. I believe Harvey's is a uh, hamburger food chain. I could be wrong on that. I'm from Colorado. I've never seen a Harvey's, but I believe I've heard of them. And uh, Harvey's, I believe, is a hamburger food chain. So driving the orange and blue this week, and he is currently running in fifth position here on lap number 43 of this 150-lap race at... New Hampshire Speedway. Let's take a uh, onboard look and ride along with fifth place here tonight. Really out of the gas going into three and four. Tires are getting worn. Cars are getting tight. Right, let's head back out to the most action going on right now according to I Racing. There we go. It's a 66 of Ned Adams yet again. Trying to creep his way back up to the front. I would like to find Kel Kelvin Mosser right now. I'm not sure what number he's dri driving. There he is, Kelvin Mosser, driving the mellow yellow car again this week. He was uh, in that car last week at Chicagoland. And uh, pretty looking car, Kelvin. Good job on your paint scheme. Kelvin last week at Chicagoland finished second. So uh, he, he's looking for a win. Uh, trying to knock uh, uh, Zach down a few notches here this week. Uh, last week also at Chicagoland, here's your top five from last week. Zach Chinowith was your winner. Kelvin Mosser what came in second last week. Third position was Ned Adams, who's currently running in eighth position. Fourth position was James Mason. Fifth position was Jeff Wenzel. So all these drivers looking to improve on their uh, performance from last week, trying to keep it a nice, tight race for the chase. This is race number two of the chase for Premier Race and Network. And yeah, we lost Brandon. Number. Oh, and the 84's got some damage. Patrick McHorter. Patrick McHorter, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what happened to him as they keep going around. The yellow is not out. I think he just gets into the wall, ladies and gentlemen, as we rewind a little bit to take a look at this replay here real fast while they're still running under green. He scrapes the wall and Man, we got a lot of smoke coming out of the back of that car. Looks like he's got a right rear down. The right rear is down on that car, and it, he may have some engine damage. Let's see what he does as he comes down into pit road. He may have to take it back to the garage. Not even sure he's going to be able to get to his pit stall. And uh, No, he does not get to his pit stall. So the unfortunate, unfortunate incident for the 84. Back up to the front. There is Zach Chinowith. Oh, hi. Zach Chinowith, your uh, current uh, <laughs> race for the chase leader, is overtaking the tide ride. Just overtook the tide ride, and that'll be the first lap car of the Mark. night there in eighth position of Mark Masawa. And again, And it uh, looks like we got some uh, action going on between the 77 and the mellow yellow car. Well, 
No, Justin Anderson is running in ninth. The Mellow Yellow running in second. We got uh, some people getting a few laps down. Uh, Patrick McHorter has just disconnected. I believe he is done for the night, taking his car to the trailer. He must have had too much engine damage. Uh, doesn't take a lot here. Uh, these guys are maxing their speeds out at about coming down into turn one. Let's take a let's let's go on board with Zach. Uh, the current leader right now, and take a look at his speeds, ladies and gentlemen. Zach riding the uh, number 51 in the National Guard Chevrolet. Let's take a look at his speeds. We're going to put the uh, little overlay up there so you can see the speeds as he comes down. Let's go with the, uh, let's actually go to the cockpit. Here we go, riding on board with your leader. About 156 down into turn one. Gets all the way down to 95 miles an hour into turns one and two. Coming out on the back stretch. Oh, hello, whatever. Come on. Down the back stretch and about 150. About, I think I saw 148 there. Caution, caution, caution. caution is out. We got trouble on the back stretch. Trouble on the back stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Caution flag is out. This is caution flag number two of the night. Oh, the tide ride has... Back and lucky dog, stay attached to the tide back of the ride has hit the wall. We're going to rewind around. it a little bit and take a look at this replay so we can... We don't miss all the action down on pit road, ladies and gentlemen. Caution flag number two. There, he just hits the wall, gets loose, can't save it. And oh, I hope he's all right. We need to get the safety crew out there as quickly as possible. No, nope, no, nope, he rolls away, he rolls away. He gives the wall the finger, and on the way he is, he's going to head it down the pit road. He's not very happy with the wall, not very happy with his car, and uh, that's going to be extensive damage. Let's head, head back up live as they get ready to pit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go down to pit lane number two. Number one. Let's go on board with the 51 as he brings them down. TV2 view, please. 77 has stayed out. He may be a lap down. He may not. Uh, it may not be. Uh, pit lane's not open for him yet. 69 has stayed out. That is going to give him the lead for uh, currently right now. We'll see how this works out as they cycle through their pit stops. And there is Zach Chinowith right now. There's your leader. Here is your race off of pit road. The mellow yellow comes out in second. As these cars are taking four tires, a full tank of fuel. So while everybody cycles through their pit stops, everybody taking four. Seventy-seven stayed out. Sixty-nine comes down in the Monster Energy Chevrolet. Pace pace car being driven by John Madden all by himself and he said what just happened what just happened I don't know it's crazy there's no one behind me sorry my John Madden impersonation will never be any good but uh, that was the best I could do ladies and gentlemen I try I try the 69 misses his pits ah we're hey he actually stopped a little early guy. he's in there he's in there As he comes off a of pit road, that tide ride is going to need extensive, uh, extensive damage. The crew members are down there pulling on fenders, beating on the front end, trying to get. They put new four new tires on it. Uh, Robert Underwood just was uh, waved around the pace car for the lucky dog. That's not what it says. Oh, sorry. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Justin Anderson was waved around. Justin Anderson driving the number... Uh, driving the number 77. He will get his lap back. And let's take a look right now and see who's still on the lead lap. We still have seven cars on the lead lap. We are in lap number 55. We are... Uh, ew, we're a little while... The 99, the 99 car has lost a position on pit road, and he's going to be restarting. Uh, 
Well, they got him scored his fourth. All right, guys, uh, I know everybody's been saving their equipment. There's about 92 uh, laps left, so if you got anything in the cars, now it's time to show it. <laughs> Going on, green light. All right, lights are off, and we're going to go green, green, green. Green flag. Green, green, green as they go. 51 takes them down, the 43 on the outside, the 03 and the 99. Going to battle for position as the 43 falls in behind the 51. The 03 down on the inside of the 99. And the 66, who had to fall all the way back earlier tonight, has creeped up into the top six. Actually, he's fifth position right now. That's Ned Adams in the 66 car as we see him come around turn three and four. We've got a race going on here. Battling for position, trying to pick up every spot they can on the restart, waiting and expecting for a nice long green flag run. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, that was caution flag number three, I believe. Caution flag number three of the night of this race. There's a fight going on for first right now. Let's head back up. Zach hasn't really been challenged all night long. So let's go back up, and he gets by. Kel Kelvin gets by the 51, and he's going to take the lead as they come down to the stripe, and you have a new leader, ladies and gentlemen, of Kevin Masser. Kelvin, I do that every week. I'm sorry, Kelvin. <laughs> every week I do that. Kelvin Mas Masser takes, takes the lead away from Zach Chinoweth here on lap number 60. Coming down into three and four. Can he keep the lead for another lap? The mellow yellow car. Yes, he does. He will continue with the lead. Zach not going to be done with him just yet. He wants to get back up front there. Zach has led every lap until the last two tonight. So he definitely wants to get back up front and show his dominance in this chase, in this race here at New Hampshire. Motor Speedway tonight, 150 miles. Look at the people in the stands. The place is packed. As I said earlier, New Hampshire Motor Speedway seats a little over 105,000 people. Everybody up on their feet right now as Kelvin takes the lead away from Zach and leads them around here at New Hampshire Speedway. We only have nine cars out on the track, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, uh, oh, we have eight on the track. There's one guy in the pit right now. Not exactly sure who the uh, driver down in there is on the pit. But eight cars, quite a few have hit the wall, got extensive damage, and they've had to drop out of the race as Kelvin leads them around here at New Hampshire. Let's take a nice good look at Kelvin's car, beautiful car. Let's go from the... <clears throat> there you go, there's Enjoy Mellow Yellow. There's the view from the front as Zach Chinoweth is looking at him from the rear. Let's take a look there. His other sponsor is uh, Speed TV there. Speed TV and the Premier Race Network, as you can see on the back. Oh, we got some battling going on, though. Let's head back to the 99 right now. The 99 trying to take over the 03. This is for third position. And Ned Adams, he goes way out. I don't think he got loose. I think that was actually a move he was trying to make. And the 77 said, uh -uh. But the 77 is going to end up going wide back there. Ned loses his momentum there in the 66. Let's go on board with Ned. Let's see if he's having any problems here as he comes down into turn one and two. As we look ahead there. Looks like his car is okay, ladies and gentlemen. 
Don't see any looseness. As you can see, his hands are very steady. He's got a good handling race car tonight. You can always tell by the driver's hands how good their race car is driving. Dalton England has retired. Let's head back up front. We got a battle going on again up front. Zach trying to get back to the uh, 43 of Kelvin. As Kelvin leads him around here, we're on lap number 68 of this 150 mile race. We got all kinds of action going on back here from positions three through six. The 77 down on the inside of the 03. The 77 is actually a lap down, trying to race for his lap back. On the inside of the 03, Trying to go by him. 77 scored in eighth position. The 03 scored in third position. Hard to keep track of these lap cars, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing the best I can. But uh, he, he is moving to the front of the field. Uh, trying to get his back, uh, uh, trying to get his lap back the old fashioned way by racing it up there. But uh, if the caution flag comes out, and I'm sure uh, the 77 of uh, Justin Anderson is praying for a caution flag right now so he can get his lap back. But I believe he is the first uh, lap car down on the uh, lead lap. So he, uh, if the caution would come out right now, he would get a lap back. And let's take a look at the uh, timing right now. Yeah, Justin Anderson is only one lap down. So if the caution flag does come out again, he will be back out on the lead lap. So he's racing real, real hard. Sixty-six and Ned Adams. Ned Adams had earlier problems tonight early on in the race. He has creeped his way back up to fifth position. Slowly but surely, he is working his way up there. And the leaders right now are still battling. The leaders are battling pretty good right now. Uh, the 51 car just was up on the bumper of the 43. The 43 said, new no way, Jose. And he is going down in turn one. Zach looking for all kinds of different lines to try to get by this 43 and retake the lead. Oh no! Oh. The 43 gets into the wall. Zach gets into him. Wow. Oh That's no, true. first to second position. Oh my gosh. That is going to be horrible for both of these guys. Oh man. Let's take a look at that again real closely in instant replay. As they were battling for first position, I think maybe the 43 might have been mirror driving and took his eyes off the track just for a second. Let's go down to TV One View and see what happens here. The 43, he just, he hit the wall. Not sure what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a uh, rear chase view of the 43 mellow yellow car as they get ready to come down to pit road. They're definitely going to go need uh, some serve. Yeah, he just got too He scraped the wall and it caught him. The 51 gets into him. Let's go on board with the 51 for Head one more replay of that. 51, let's take a view from his in-car cam, ladies and gentlemen. That is unfortunate for the top two runners right now. That's not the in-car cam. Come on. Here we go. This is your view from second place, Zach Chinowith. Oh, damage on both of those machines. Let's get back up live, ladies and gentlemen, and see who's coming down for pit road and how much time it's going to take. There's the 51. There's the 66. The 03 has stayed out. The 77 is thankful to see this. He's going to get his lap back. The 51 gets out on pit road first. Not sure... Sixty six will beat the ninety nine out of pit lane. Looks like the seventy seven and the O three stayed out. Currently right now the O three scored in uh, first position. The seventy seven looking for his wave around. 
And the 03 ducks down. What happened? What happened? To the mellow yellow car. Where we got to, where's the mellow yellow car? The 03 down on pit lane gives up the lead. Justin, did you ever get it fixed up real bit, man? Ten four. Justin Anderson gets his lap back. He will be back out on the lead lap. Numbers. Numbers of cars, please. Thank you. All righty. Michael Adams, who gives up the lead, comes down pit road. He's getting extensive service. The Mello... 17 coming off of pit road. Yeah, he wrecked earlier. He had a bunch of damage, but he is back out on the, the Tide Ride. Kentucky Fried Chicken Chevrolet is back out on the track. Say that... Say that 10 times real fast. Justin Anderson only receives gas. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Kelvin Mouse, Mosser, uh, who had overtaken the lead and was leading the laps here at New Hampshire Speedway, has taken his car back to the trailer. They're putting it on the truck as we speak. He is going to be done for the afternoon. And that is unfortunate as the lights on the pace car are off. And right now we only have five cars behind the pace car. We have a few cars... We have a few cars coming off of Pace Road. We have just passed halfway, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are on lap number 76, just past halfway of this 150-lap race. As we get ready to go green again right now as the rest of the cars are trying to catch up to the field so they can get back up there for the start. Lights on the Pace car off. We will be going green this time by across the stripe. Ah, come on. Very excited. Green All right, the 66 on the outside of the 51. The 66, there's something wrong. He doesn't get going. He does not go. He missed a shift. He missed a shift, ladies and gentlemen, and the four gets into the back of him, and that is going to cost Ned Adams there at the start. George Gollin has just got the position he's been waiting for all night, been patient, picking and choosing, but he is back up to second. The 99 car have been slowly working his way through there, been very, very patient as Zach Chinowith retakes the lead and he'll come down to first position. The 99 in second position, in third position. Oh, the 77, oh, 69 into the wall. We're gonna have to take another look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of action after that restart, after that restart here. Let's go on board with the 69 and see what happens here. The 69 being driven by uh, Robert Underwood. Robert Underwood seemed to, he went around like a top at Christmas. Not exactly sure what happened, but let's take a look here in the instant replay. Oh, I don't know. May have been helped here. Let's see. As I'm really, really sorry. Right. I didn't reset my brake by after the pit stop. Ew. 77 helped hey, him Parker. around. 69. He spins around. He's good. He's on his way. He's not good, though. He's got a lot of damage. He's going to have to come down for service yet again. So that's what happened there. Let's fast forward and get down to pit lane there. go let's go down to pit lane and uh, see who's coming down I would assume everybody's coming down here still just a little bit halfway uh, halfway through this race and we we've had a lot of action so far a lot of good side-by-side -side racing but man cars are falling by falling like flies here as uh, the pace car goes around there they come down the 99 currently will take the lead 17 is lap a lap down that's why he's still behind the pace car as we take a look at all these cars coming down for service right now where is the leader of Zach Chinowith Zach Chinowith in the 51 he is up front there let's take a far look from the uh, chopper view and watch the race off of pit road 51 the 77 
the 69, and I'm not sure about that fourth car there. Can't see his number from here. Uh, the Ford didn't do any repla uh, repairs on his vehicle, but he's trying to stay on the lead lap. He uh, he's the, Let's take a look at his rear end, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I believe the rear end of his car is beat up. There you go. As you see the dent right there, he's running in fourth. But he opted not to repair to stay on the lead lap this time. Uh, Mark Masiao, Masiao, sorry. Masiao. And again, if I pronounce your names wrong, please just let me know. Give me a, you know, a uh, name pronunciation for dummies in uh, the YouTube comment sections. And I will promise to get your names right. Uh, eventually I'm still learning all you guys and learning all your names and doing the best I can this is my second race here uh, commentating for uh, premier race network and I'm still learning it took me seven weeks to figure out my own racing league at Norgar TVI racing league it took me seven weeks to figure out half the field so you know just say I'm I apologize for that I'm not doing it on purpose but I will learn you guys sooner or later I believe that was caution flag number five. And we got a handful of cars still out on the track as the lights on the pace car are off. I'm going to go green this time by. And Tide Rye got a lot of damage to him. He's hanging out in the back, running laps, trying to get those championship points. Pace car is off. 99 will lead them down. The 99. George Garland going to lead him down to the stripe. There we go. Green, green, green. He's going to overtake the lead, but Zach Chinowith on the outside looking very strong. And the 99 comes up. The 66 gives him room. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. The 66, who had early Thanks, trouble, Mark. has made it all the way up to second position, ladies and gentlemen. The 99 is dropping like a stone. I believe he didn't take tires. Not sure on that one, but uh, new equipment is definitely going to run quicker, that's for sure. Michael Adams there in the, uh, the 03, he's going to lose position to the 4, possibly. The 4 car, looking to the inside, the 4 car being driven by Andrew Lutz. No, nope, he's going to fall back into position as they string out into a single file line. Let's head back up front. 69 dropping, dropping. 69's got a problem. As Zach Chinowith leads him down, Ned Adams wants to overtake him and uh, lead some laps here at New Hampshire Speedway. Ned Adams. Ned Adams finishing third last week. Wants a really good run here, would like the win. Uh, not exactly sure what will happen with the points. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a points uh, tally in front of me from their race last week. So, uh, shush. Sixty-nine. Let's go on board with the sixty-nine who was dropping back. The sixty-nine being driven by Robert Underwood. Robert Underwood driving from Monster Energy Drink. Got a lot of damage to his back end, but I believe 
He's moving. Seventy-seven on the ins the seventy-seven. On we got a race for second place. The seventy-seven on the inside of the sixty-six up front. Can he hold it? He gets into the wall a little bit. The sixty-six and Ned Adams going. Oh my gosh, what just happened? I don't know, but uh, he's the sixty-six is actually losing. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. This is your battle for second place, ladies and gentlemen. The seventy-seven in the sixty-six. The seventy-seven it hits the wall coming out of two. The 66 now on the inside of the 77, trying to regain second position, and he's going to take it as they come across the stripe, and he slides up in front of him. He takes the position back away from the 77. The 03 on the inside of the 99. Oh, the 03 is getting loose. He gets loose, and the 99 will maintain his position for right now. This is for position fourth and fifth. As we look at the chase view here, riding on, riding behind Michael Adams, driving the 03, who I love racing. I love racing too, Michael Adams. Racing is fun, racing is good, as you can see the car in front of him getting a little bit loose, as Zach Chinowith is moving away there in first position. We got a battle going on now for second position. Let's head back up front. Here's your battle for second position. Oh my gosh. Watch them as they come down into turns one and two at 150 miles an hour. The 77 looking in the inside. He's running in third. Looking in the inside of the 66. He's got a fender up there. They are even, and the 77 gets loose. Oh, and he saves it. He saves it. Good job, 77, but he's going to lose a lot of momentum, and he's going to have to start all over again to work on the 66 of Ned Adams to get back up to second position. Wow, what a race going on here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of cars off the track right now, but the cars still on the track driving their hearts out to try to get every point they can here in the championship for the Premier Race Network race for the chase. This is race number two at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. What a race we got going on here, everybody. We got a great crowd tonight at Norgar TV. And if you have not already, please do. I know I keep saying this, but I got to drill it into your heads. Hit that follow button. You don't want to miss any of the racing action for the weeks to come as we watch the 77 of Justin Anderwood coming down the front stretch, looking to the inside of Ned Adams of the 66. He just can't quite get the bike coming off of turn two. He comes off a of turn two. He's got a good run, though, but uh, Ned's got a better one. Ned's going to hold the position, but what's going to happen? He's on the, the 77, trying to get to the inside. Ned not letting him. He's shutting the door on him. And there we go, he's on the inside, the 77 on the inside of the 66. This is your battle for second position, ladies and gentlemen. Back and forth, left and right, crossover after crossover. These guys are battling really hard for second position here on lap number 95. 77 still down on the inside, Ned giving him plenty of room, and the 77 may take it. But Ned's got a really good run going wide there off the turn. Seventy-seven is gonna get by him. And he does, he slides up in front of him. And the 77 will take second position on lap number 96. Ned looking, sizing him up. Who's got the better car? We will find out in about in about uh, 54 laps, we'll find out who had the best car of the night. Right now, Zach Chinowith, your uh, race for the chase leader in points right now. He...
Kevin Mouser, who was running second earlier, who ha who the wall jumped out and bit him. Uh, the 17 is actually just taking his. Uh, no, he hasn't. He was running second. Oh, he is overtake. He is overtaking Kevin. Or was it Kevin or Kelvin? Kelvin. Sorry, Kelvin. I do that every week. Uh, he has just overtaken him in points right now by staying out on the track. The tide ride running as hard as he can with all that damage. And uh, he is picking up points. And he's picking up positions out on the track for everybody who had to exit the race early, ladies and gentlemen. As we look at Zach Chinowith coming down the back stretch, going into three and four right now, still running in first position. Yes, Kelvin is out. But uh, the Tide Ride has overtaken Kelvin's position uh, in the points for this race by staying out. Seventy-seven in second, the sixty-six in third, the ninety-nine in fourth, the O three in fifth, the four car in sixth, in seventh we have the sixty-nine. And that's all we have left out on the track, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, I apologize. There's the tar Tide Ride in eighth. Tide Ride still looking to pick up seventh position. Uh, and he gets into the wall a little bit. He's got an ill-handling race car. Let's take a look at uh, his uh, ill-handling race car right now. And let's not. Okay, never mind. There is your leader. No pressure whatsoever at all. Take a look. Let's go on board with uh, Justin Anderson riding in second position. Looks like he's got about uh, a turn and a half away from first position. We're looking at about. Uh, let's take a look. We're looking at about 4.2 seconds between first and second position right now. Zach Chinowith coming up on some lap traffic. Let's go up with him. Oh, hi, Zach. I believe he's coming up on the tide ride right now. Is he going to be able to maneuver and get around the tide ride with no problem? Looks like the tide ride I can see from back here. It looks like he's got a left rear going down. Real low on the left rear uh, side of uh, the tide ride's car. But he's still running real, real uh, well, not real well, but <laughs> he's still running. That's good. And he goes to the inside, get out of the way of Zach. He will give him the give him the position on the track with no problem at all not going to race him this late late in the race uh the tide ride right now is uh of the 17 i believe that's the tide ride yeah the 17 car is currently scored uh 22 laps down 22 laps down but he is the first car uh at least one lap down uh running in the race and everybody else has fallen out so i believe he yes he has he has surpassed uh kelvin masser for uh position and the only way uh the only way mark can uh, gain more positions is if somebody else goes out of the race and we got a race going on back here we got a race going back on here with the 99 and he just drops to fourth definitely looking to pass the 66 the 66 and Ned Adams who was running up in second position earlier